Welcome Pisces gang. This is the Empress. I'm here today guys to do you guys' mid-month reading from um, we're going to say the 15th through the remainder of June, okay? Because I'm a few days late. All right, so let's talk guys. Before we get into the read guys, I'm going to let you guys know about my new and improved money magnet oil. This is my personal one, so it doesn't have a label on it. But guys, this product here is the bomb. I've added quite a few different herbs um, and things to this oil. It has real money um, shredded up in it as well as a. I have about four or five different. I have about five new products, new items in this product, okay? This product is the bomb, all right? luck success if you're into gambling and scratch offs and you're, if you're looking for a job um just luck and abundance period okay you're trying to get on that 777 vibe that 888 vibe this is going to be the product for you okay you can catch this item on sale 20 percent off guys on the website and all of that information is in the drop box below all right so let's talk pisces let's see what messages we got for you Let's see. Give me an overall message for Pisces. This is going to be like a, a general or love reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If you are new to the channel, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you can get the notifications from when I post more readings. All right, so... I think I'm going to start off with, um, I'm going to do a love. I think I'm going to start off with the Romance Angels. we we'll grab some energy from there, and then we'll see where the read goes. All right, so this is from June the 15th through, I think it's 30 days in June. Give me a message for my Pisces. Give me a message for Pisces. Thank you. All right, we got let go of control issues. All right. So some of you may be trying to control a situation. Okay. Some of you may be trying to hold on to a situation that maybe you need to let go of because it said allow the situation to unfold naturally. So some of y'all may be trying to control the outcome or something like that because I feel like some of you may be in a separation with someone and someone um is trying to take take back control trying to get back control of the situation during a separation here because we got separation we got religious factors that could be a part of the reason why this is there is a separation your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and free yourself okay so trying to take back control of your life Okay, so we got let go of control issues. All right, so let's talk Pisces. Give me a message here for the Pisces, please. Thank you. We got the Seven of Swords. All right, Seven of Swords. So somebody is being sneaky here. There's some sneaky business going on. Some sneaky business going on, and I feel like you're evaluating, re-evaluating a situation. Like, you're looking at this situation like, what is this? Like, should I invest more into this shit and I? You may, you know, found out a truth about someone, and now you know this person can't be trusted. I feel like this is something that you're, you're thinking about that you're in your head about. All right, so let's get the story here. We got the high priestess and the world. We got the four of cups. We got the two of cups and the hierophant. And the page of wands. They came out together, so we're going to put that together. The Ten of Swords. And 
And the Nine of Swords. The Page of Swords. The Nine of Cups wanted to jump. It just like flipped over and then flipped back over. We got the Ace of Cups. And as the outcome, we got the Three of Wands. So it looks like we got the Six of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, you could be, this could be someone that you're dealing with from the past. That maybe you were hoping uh, that some type of offer would come in from this person. I feel like for some of you, this may be an ex, okay? Um, maybe you're waiting for an offer, for them to come back with the offer. And right now, some of you are, you know, until that time comes or until the time being, I feel like you guys are just focused on your money, your bag. Like, you're, you, um, you feel rejected or left out in the cold by this person. You feel abandoned, like this person just walked out on you. Um, I'm seeing that there is some type of, like, addiction, okay? Some type of addiction or, like, pretty much, like, wanting this person extremely bad. This could be you or this other person. But somebody wants somebody really, really bad. And I'm getting that for some there could be a wife involved, okay, with the Empress and the Four of Wands. This is definitely, like, a wife or a, um, a mother-in-law or something like that to something to that nature here um but some type of truth got revealed to to a lot of people okay so somebody may have found out that someone has a wife at home or something or lives with someone or something like that but definitely some type of truth was revealed and it was revealed to a lot of people a community of people okay judgment it's like judgment day for sure for sure okay so, yeah, your intuition was telling you that this person was a liar, was sneaky, doing the most, and this, this, this disappointed you. I feel like you were extremely disappointed in this point in time. I feel like you're replaying this shit in your head, and you're like, how the fuck? <laughs> how the hell? Oh, no, uh -uh, that shit right there. But I feel like intuitively you knew this about this person already. A chapter most definitely closed. We got the world here. Tell me more about the world. Let's talk about this chapter closing. King of Wands. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I'm getting someone wanted to... Um, you wanted to have this passionate connection with this person. But I feel like there was like some... A cut off. A cut off. Somebody got cut off. Okay, yeah. Blocked. Somebody got blocked. Maybe they blocked you or you blocked them. But somebody got blocked. Now, you could be looking back at the situation with a little bit of regrets. Like, you're reevaluating this situation. Like, you're looking at it like, what the hell just, what just happened? What just happened here? Yeah, for sure, for sure. There's some conflict going on. There's some back and forth. Somebody here is on again, off again. Maybe you're on again, off again with this person. This person is continuously um, bringing in some type of drama into the situation. Because there's a lot of lies, a lot of speculation. There's that tower and a situation falling apart for sure. Okay. Could be a Scorpio. We got the Death card here. We got Hermit. Could be a Virgo. We got the Lovers. A Gemini. Tower. Scorpio. And the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So somebody got the hell out of Dodge for sure, for sure. I'm not sure if it was because of something that somebody said. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, a relationship or a marriage, something here, a foundation is definitely shaken. Okay, a foundation is definitely shaken and it's over a situation that's involving a lot of lies and manipulation. 
okay? Maybe you feel manipulated. Maybe you feel tricked. Maybe you feel, I just feel like y'all feel like bamboozled. Like, I know ain't no way in hell this motherfucker just tried me like this. Somebody doesn't want to see somebody with someone else. We got the death card here. And we got the hermit and the lovers. All right. So let's see. Why is, why is the high priestess here? The five of cups. Your intuition is telling you that this person is going to regret this. I feel like somebody real deal mishandled you, for sure. Real deal. Tell me more about this five of cups. Justice, didn't I say? You're going to get your justice. You're going to get your justice. Um, look at the tower right there. And there was some type of shocking news. Somebody walked away. Somebody ran away. And when I say they, they got the hell out of Dodge, they left. Okay, because... They left because they didn't want to put in the work. Put in the work. They didn't want to co uh, collab. Okay. They didn't want to put in the effort. They didn't want to put in the work. So they got the hell out of there. Okay. Now this could have left you extremely disappointed with the Four of Cups because this person could have been lying to you, playing mind games, manipulating you into thinking that everything was going to be everything. But we got the Knight of Swords and the Devil and the Star. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius, Six of Cups. I feel like for some of you, this is an X. I feel like for some of you, this is an X. And I feel like they came around with some type of offer, dangling some offer in your face, and then ended up breaking your heart. Breaking your heart. Um, saying, look, we gonna, I'm going to put in the effort. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But then they made a different, they, they didn't keep their end of the deal, okay? I feel like they went ahead and made a decision, and the decision was possibly what they felt like was a better option or a better choice at the time. Yeah, the judgment and the ace of pentacles. So they felt like whatever they chose to run off to was a better choice, okay? They felt like it was a better option. They could possibly, someone could pop up pregnant here. We got the Empress and the Sun. Um, these cards normally to me is like a pregnancy or a birth of some type, okay? Maybe someone found out that someone was pregnant. Why is the Knight of Swords here? That's not for everybody. Take what resonates, honey. Yes you're disappointed because somebody ran off and and i feel like they were supposed to uh collab with you you guys are working on something and somebody ran off and i feel like it left you feeling played knight of wands and the queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio So I feel like maybe you decided to speak your truth to this person. Now, past energy, it does look like there was a union, possibly a marriage with the hier with the hierophant here, the two of cups. I feel like Yeah, I feel like some type of truth came out about this connection. Because at one point, this connection was in a Ten of Cups stage, okay? At one point. But somebody was feeling like they they want to take a break or they need some type of break because they're feeling like the situation or being in a connection with you is too much work. They feel like it's too much work. They want to still have their freedom. Four of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, they want to keep their freedom. They want to be able to go over here and do what they want to do. They want to be able to drink, smoke, eat high, do whatever it is that they please. Yeah, Seven of Cups, they want to keep all their options open. They feel like dealing with you is going to be like they have to do too much or they have to do to go follow the rules. Okay, yeah, for some of you, it's a marriage. Okay, they feel like it's too much to balance out this marriage. Okay. I feel like they may want to, but at the same time, they're looking at their finances, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, okay, 
You could be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, they're evaluating. They're looking at their pockets and looking at their situation. Like, is this something that I really want to do? This would be a final decision that I have to make. I feel like they can also think that they could be having finance, going through financial things too as well. Like, maybe they feel like they're not enough or they don't have enough. Um... Like, they can't, they don't measure up. Because I'm getting, like, this person just ran off. Like, possibly even ghosted you. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Emperor. That's that. Yeah, and see. Now, the cards that came out was, uh, when we put the romance, the romance cards was let go of control, Right. Now, we got the Ten of Swords and the Emperor. I feel like you are letting go of control of this relationship. Like, you're no longer trying to control the outcome of this situation. I do feel like communication could be getting ready to come in, possibly from a, a Aries with the Emperor here, or a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Cancer here. But I'm definitely getting that you're no longer trying to control the outcome of the situation. And I feel like once you let go of control, I feel like you got somebody coming towards you. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Why is the chariot card here? Empress. And the Wheel of Fortune. The Devil. Yeah, for some of it's the Capricorn. Okay. And the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come towards you. I feel like this is you, this Empress energy. Um, wanting some type of change. Wanting something to go in their favor. I'm getting some progression though. Some forward movement. I feel like things are moving forward. Once you let go of control. Yeah, see somebody's coming in wanting to put in some type of effort to come back. For some of you, this is an ex. An ex could be returning. Because they see you doing good. And this is why they're returning. Because they see you in your nine of pentacles. They see you in your empress, your emperor energy. And they want to return. Now they want to come back. Alright, so they're watching you too as well with the page of swords here. They're keeping their eye on you. Their eyes on you. But I feel like right now in this point in time, like you're overthinking this situation. Like, yeah, because there was a tower moment. There is definitely a tower that just occurred in you guys' this situation. Tell me more about this tower. Ooh, okay. We got the strength and the four of wands. Could be a Leo involved. Four of wands is a community or a marriage or some type of celebration of coming together of some sort. I feel like for some, I just feel like a marriage fell apart. I feel like a marriage fell apart because I did see separation come out. Some of you could be separated from um your divine masculine or divine feminine um but i i just feel like i feel like some of you got ghosted like somebody ghosted and decided not to work on the situation until maybe you or they or you or them got themselves together or was able to reciprocate i feel like somebody's going through some type of financial crisis or something like that let's see why this person is spying on you why is the page of swords here they're trying to gather information on you yep the moon they're spying on you for sure for sure in secret and privacy okay they're trying to figure out what your next move is going to be with the two of wands mm -hmm. they're waiting to see if you're going to make some type of mistake so you can give them something for them to talk about. And they are for sure, for sure watching you. Who's watching? Tell me more. Uh, who's watching? Pisces. The Seven of Pentacles. And the King of Cups. Could be another water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That was confirmation for some. For some of you, it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But they're gathering information. Like, they're not sure. It could be an Aquarius. Um, 
they see you trying to manifest, trying to become a star or famous or there's something that you do that's extremely special. Um, they see you manifesting, though. And they're not sure, like, how you're doing it. Like, they're trying to, I'm, I'm getting somebody's taking notes. This person's over here taking notes on you as well, especially with that two of wands. They're not sure how you do what you do, whatever you're doing. This is definitely, I feel like it's an ex. Okay, Queen of Cups, here you go. Because they see you, you're moving along. I feel like you're, you think about this, but maybe you aren't showing it. Okay. And they, I feel like they like what you, how you're manifesting. You're manifesting money. You're manifesting money. You have like a following. Okay. They're watching you and they're taking notes. For sure. I feel like you want a new love offer. With this Ace of Cups here. Like you want a new love offer. And we've got the outcome as being a Three of Wands. You're not waiting on this person. You're not waiting on this person to grow up. I feel like um, you feel like this person could just be looking for attention, validation, and you're not. You turned your. You're turning your back on the situation. It's like you. You've gotten to the point where you're no longer trying to control the situation. You definitely. You turned your back on the situation. I feel like this situation uh, is just bring. It's just too much drama. It's too much drama. Um, and I feel like you're turning your back on the situation. I feel like soon as you turn your back on the situation and you don't focus on it, something new is going to come in for you. And I feel like this person just is looking for attention. Somebody's looking for attention, trying to get attention from you, or they're just looking for attention, looking for a reaction, looking for a response. And then somebody, <laughs> I feel like you're, uh, yeah, I feel like you talk about. Or what from their perspective, what you what they see for some of you, you're a wife or a husband with the Queen of Pentacles here. Could be male or female. But I just keep getting like someone could be married. But um you're not waiting on this person. I feel like you walk away and then you do better. You walk away or they walk away and you end up doing better. Star in a ten of pentacles. Like this is millionaire status. This is like top notch okay it's like you're looking down at the peasants like uh your loss you're bad and i feel like you think about it but i don't feel like you're really showing i don't feel like you're really actually like you're like showing this person or these people you know how you really feel i feel like maybe you're leaving that for speculation but i feel like someone is coming in and they're coming in and trying to put in some effort um, but I feel like you you end up turning your back on this person. So good for you, Pisces, if you're able to stand in your power. If this message resonated, guys, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. As well, guys, go ahead and head over to the website and check out the Money Magnet Oil. You're going to love it. It's going to help you manifest so many beautiful things. All right. And until next time, guys, ciao for now.